Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve this problem using Level Order Traversal, BFS. This is the maximum depth of binary tree problem. Last time I showed you how to solve it using recursion. This time we're going to use a queue and iteration. So given a binary tree, find its maximum depth. The maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf node. As you can see, in this case, 1, 2, 3. So the depth is 3, the maximum depth is 3. So we're going to use level order traversal. And the number that we want to find is the number of layers. So the number of layers is going to be equal to the maximum depth of this tree. In this case, we have 1, 2, 3 layers. So that's the main idea here. We're going to use level order traversal and we're going to keep track of how many layers we find. And at the end, we return the number of layers, which is equal to the maximum depth. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. So um, I'm going to say if root equals equals null, if the tree is empty, just return zero because there are zero nodes then I will have integer result gets a value of zero. And this variable is the final result and it's gonna have the number of layers in the tree. I need a queue of pointer to node. Queue gets a value of new linked list. And initially I say queue that offer the root. So I enqueue the root. And then I will say while not Q that is empty. So I will traverse first this level, then this level, and then this level. And every time I process a level, I will increment the final result. So plus plus result. Because every time I process a level, I will increment this. Then I will say for integer i gets the value of Q that size i is greater than zero minus minus i so i will dq so i will say pointer to node t gets the value of q dot pol so i dq this node so i have this for loop to process this level or this level so this for loop will process um all the, this level, the current level. And then I get this node and I just see if t dot left is not equal to null, then I just say q dot offer t dot left. If t dot right is not equal to null, then q dot offer t dot right. So I dq a node from the current level and I just check if he has children, and if, and if he has children, I push those children to the queue. And then after this queue is empty, when this queue is empty, this is gonna stop processing all the levels, and my variable will have the number of layers, which is equal to the, to the maximum depth. So I will return the final result. Let me run the code. Okay, I'm going to submit a solution. This is working perfectly. So as you can see, we were able to use a level order traversal to solve this problem. The time complexity is the same as the defer search traversal. So the time complexity is big O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. The space complexity is big O of w, where w is the maximum width of of every le of any level in the tree so the maximum width of a level in the tree is the space complexity for this algorithm if you like this video please press the like button don't forget to subscribe and see you next time